We're thrilled to have here in person for the first time, first of hopefully many times. Uh, her annual holiday tour starts November 24th, includes a stop in the beautiful Michigan Theater in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Mm. Um, and that's a perfect time for the tour to start, certainly since that allows my next guest to go to tonight's game to watch oh. her beloved Chiefs take on the Rams. Good to see Grammy Award winning artist Melissa Etheridge, how are you? It's a pleasure to be here, Rich. A pleasure to have you here. So let's start off first. Uh, you were kind enough to gently correct me in the commercial break. <laughs> uh, your children are 12, not yes. uh, not baby not children. Babies. So they Chris, were, yes. so it's 12 year old oh, kids. Totally fine. No babies. Yeah. No, 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 no. headphones. No, 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 no. no. They'll good. be they'll be okay. on their phones, kind of nice. paying attention to the game. Yes. <laughs> well, they might require ear muffs <laughs> at they, certain yes, parts of going in the Coliseum indeed, tonight. Indeed, it is. But it's I intense. think I think there's going to be a ton of Chiefs fans there tonight. There usually is. I went to the Chargers game in you know Carson the first uh, the opening Week game one. Chiefs yeah and it was basically a home game so the poor Chargers they just got to they play an away game every game I know that's the way it was in yesterday you know there were a bunch of Broncos fans who were yeah. celebrating there as well and maybe that changes when they open up the new stadium here in a couple of years but that had to be for you to be at that game Week one, oh. with Patrick Mahomes coming out of the shoot the way that he did in that day, and Tyreek Hill running all over the place, that had to be exhilarating, but also a little bit of a relief for you going into the season. Not a lot of people were one, were still wondering if uh, Mahomes was ready for this primetime gig. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, we had we had Alex Smith, which oh, I just wish him the best. Yes. You know, uh, we had Alex Smith. We had that quarterback, and and we we'd have you know Travis Kelsey. We we we'd have talent every now and then great talent but we never could have it all together all at once that's what this feels like it feels like oh my gosh we've got a quarterback that can throw it all the way down to the fastest Tyreek Hill you know mm -hmm. you, we've we've got that guy that can take Andy Reid's coaching and make it happen it's that that oh, I don't know what to call it. It's just that perfect place that you just feel good about it. You feel like to the last second we mm -hmm. have a chance. It, feel, it just feels different. Yeah. It does feel different with, with as you said, you know, uh, Alex Smith. It just felt at, at times that there was a struggle. <laughs> there was a, uh, on occasion there would be some droughts and some points yeah. challenged moments that would also crop up at the most inopportune moments. And that might not be just on him. It might also have been the rest of the roster. It seems that these – that the roster is just with Sammy Watkins oh. and Travis Kelsey now getting to be uh, years down the road and Kareem Hunt with his oh. second year going at it. It just seems it's all better and clicking right now. It just seems it's all better. It they, that that there's not going to be that weird penalty that that we're not far enough ahead to get over. You know, it just seems like we're a four quarter team. Mm -hmm. And so, how far back does your fandom? Go. I know you just you hit that in the television only segment, but for oh. the larger audience here oh. for the radio. Born and raised like, in Leavenworth, Kansas. Okay. My father was big into uh, uh, sports. He was a, a mm. big sports guy. Right. We we started in the in the '60s watching them. You know, in the '64, '65, and when I was a baby, I just I was remembered. So when I was about nine or ten, we finally got in the Super Bowl. And when you win the Super Bowl, and you're that age, and your whole family and, and neighborhood and city and the whole area goes nuts. You remember that. And it makes you a fan for life. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been there ever since. And it's been a long time since I felt this way. Yeah, I know. And Len Dawson was <laughs> oh. the quarterback back then, right? And our I mean, defense was so gnarly. It was the last game of the AFL NFL where, where they were right. two separate things. And so we beat the you know, Minnesota Vikings. We, they had, they had not played the AFL defense before and we just, we just beat the heck out of him. Yeah, that's before uh, Lamar Hunt came up with the term of Super Bowl. Right. He's the one who came up with, you know, let's call this AFL. we got to come up with a new name for this <laughs> AFL versus NFL thing. Let's call it Super Bowl. The Hunts are just beloved in, in Kansas City. Right. So when was the last time you were at a in I, Kansas City at I a Chiefs game? I sang last year. I sang the anthem at the uh, – it was the – Chiefs Steelers game. They they had been undefeated until that game. Right. So I um it was it's but it's beautiful. <laughs> it's you not know how you, it is. by the way. It's I know, not I know. you. We but everybody it's thinks it's you. that it's the shirt you wore. It's the what you <laughs> ate. You know. Oh my God, they lost because I wore that shirt. So you so, know, of course it was my fault. I sang went, the anthem. Are and they you lost. saying you went some through some soul searching after that situation? <laughs> of course Melissa. I did. Of course I did. I actually this is funny. I actually was 
asked by the NFL because uh, tonight they're, the Rams are are giving a lot of tickets out to the the, the first responders, the firemen and mm-hmm. women that uh, helped us during this crisis that is is you know, still ongoing in California with mm-hmm. the wildfires. And they were uh, and our home was evacuated. I evacuated for five days with my family. Our home is fine, but they were looking for you know people who had been affected. And and the NFL actually asked me to sing the anthem. And then they said, well, we'll run it by the Rams. But the Rams know what a Chiefs fan I am. And they said, bless their heart, which makes it, that actually makes me feel good. It's like we would love to any other time, but we know what a Chiefs fan she is. And that's a little awkward. So I won't be seeing that. They put the kibosh on you. (laughs) But I love it. I love it. That's, I'm proud of that. It's funny that, um, I'll tell this story uh, on the air. You know, even though I don't know if I'm telling any tales out of school, but Steve Bishotti, the owner of the Ravens, okay. Uh, told me this story that um, Stacy Keebler, who was uh, on Dancing with the Stars and was a former Ravens cheerleader, was dating George Clooney at the time and asked for tickets to come to the game in Baltimore because Clooney's Bengals were playing. <laughs> and he asked, he said, you know, I would normally have you in my suite. I'll put you somewhere else, yeah, but see? this is my team. I cannot have a Bengal fan, even if it is George Clooney in my suite. But don't you love the dedication that we have? Football, I I will play a show. I will have the whole audience in my in my control mm-hmm. in Oakland. Mm-hmm. And all I, I have and I'll walk out with my Kansas City Chiefs a strive a guitar strap. Okay. And they they hate me. They just instant I, I'll be in Denver. And I'll just go, even I'll be in New England at the Patriots. So they're cheering for you the entire show. They're coming to your show. (laughs) They're coming to your window, if you will. They're paying money. And so once... Once you mention football, though, it's over. My wife's always like, don't say anything. Don't say anything. I can't help it. So you can respect (laughs) the fact that the Rams are... I love that. Oh, I love that. I respect that they're like, no. (laughs) I'll tell you, though, I am, uh, you know, I haven't talked about it much on the show, but I'll do it with you right here. Uh, Melissa Etheridge here on the Rich Eisen Show. I think that that might be the difference in the game tonight is the emotion. Of oh, the, the oh, I thought you were saying that, that I, I'm not, no, not singing no. the anthem, so they <laughs> will win. <laughs> That's the difference. See? <laughs> You're still scarred by the experience. I am. No, no, no it's I, I just think that, again, tonight, um, you know, just last week, and you can attest to this too, being a Los Angeles resident. Yes. That yeah. the way the Rams were in the midst of the fires, literally, yeah. figuratively, the way that Andrew Whitworth, the left tackle, donated his check to the victims of the Thousand Oaks shooting, oh. okay? The way that the Rams were living in that community and supported the community and were part of what was going on, they became a Los Angeles team for good. You know, but, you know obviously when you come into town, it yeah. takes some time to get into a Los Angeles sports scene that they have, once were part of, but I think that's tonight is going to, that might be the difference maker in a way tonight. It will. And, and I'm here to say that no matter what my chiefs win tonight, you know, they win in a way that like, even when we played the Patriots, I felt good after that loss. It was like, I, I've, I seen my team, you know, they played well. And, and no matter what happens tonight, I think it's just going to be awesome football. Just to be there, and oh, I yeah. know, I know, and that you could save. I guess the moral victories are fine now. To just hope you don't, they don't come in January. You yes. know, I mean, th- that's, that's the that's, idea. That's if you're a Chiefs fan, that's where you're like, oh, January. I know, <laughs> but you're right though. To see Mahomes take yeah. the take the uh, the first half lumps, couple of interceptions. You know, the Belichick style mm. of confusing young kids mm-hmm. for him to take those lumps and then come back in the fourth quarter. Yeah. That was really something else. Was beautiful. So who's your favorite chief? I know I'm putting you on the spot. You are, you know, I got, there's I gotta, so many of them. Travis Kelsey, probably he's, he's fire. <laughs> the man can dance. The man has soul. The man, he, I, he, his passion for it, his <laughs> talent, he's, and what he does for Kansas City is amazing. So I got to say, Travis Kelsey. He is, uh, he is all that in a biscuit. Yeah, and a biscuit. Yes, he. Is. He, he really. I mean, I just love his. Uh, as you said, he's got a certain way about him, and the way that he has potentially, if you'll forgive me, there is a Patriot fan over there in Brockman. <laughs> he has this year surpassed Gronk. Ooh, I mean, maybe not all time, but it. in terms of right now, right here, right now. Oh, Gronk hasn't played. 2018. 
I know. It's, yeah, but I mean, true. he is the best tight end in, in the National Football League uh, right and, now. And fun to watch, athletic, and you just never know what he's going to do. Yeah, just don't throw flag the flags uh, around. Don't throw yeah. towels at flag like, Please don't, don't stop. Breathe, breathe, move away. I'm always like, okay, dude, no, it's all right. Right. Just go back to the. Huddle. And in terms of tonight's game, I love it. I love chopping it up with you here, Melissa oh. Etheridge here on the Rich Eisen Show. Is that I think tonight Tyreek Hill. Going at Marcus Peters, former chief. Ooh. I think the Chiefs would really like to, as because of how much heat they did take in the local area of yeah. sending Marcus Peters packing. Yeah, I think. By the way, say that ten times fast. Marcus Peters packing. I know that <laughs> that I think that that might be the way that the Chiefs surpass all the obvious stuff that's going on on the field as well as the emotions of what's going on off of it. Right I'm now. so excited about the game. Yeah, you fired really up like you want it to start right now. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much going back home and get my kids and going okay. to the game. Well, then you're going on the NFL Network later on yeah. today, too. I got a text from everybody I there excited it. to I have just, you. I really have to say I love that the NFL has embraced that I'm a huge fan. It just it tickles me, and it's really thrilling. Well, that's great. I love it. Are you fantasy football as well, or no? Not I, really? I, ha I have to have a life. So I, re <laughs> I drew the line. I drew the line, and I can't. I can't I, when you find yourself rooting against your team, okay. for, that, that's weird. And so your your so your holiday tour starts uh, just what, yeah in, the in Friday a week, right yeah starting Friday hitting the road you're you're in Beverly Massachusetts come on okay um, with my Chiefs uh, strap yeah in Massachusetts. Well, <laughs> 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 my guitar strap that'll be okay yeah well, let's let's walk through it here you're the Birchmere <laughs> Alexandria Virginia so that's Redskins See, country Redskins, so I'll, I'll give a little love to Alex yeah, Smith there uh, there you go yeah that is awful oh just he's, he's he was a such dude. a good guy I know he is really good. People, I hope he becomes real. a coach or something if he doesn't come back, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a, it's an awful injury. And obviously, Theisman, it's the same thing that Theisman Freaky, had. Freaky, huh? I know, on the same day, by and the way. And he was there. I know. And now, uh, there's a photograph of you right up there. That yeah, we're oh, up right I here. know. That way he came over. I, he was walking down. And I said, I said, Alex, it's Melissa Etheridge. Mm -hmm. And that's where I said he's the only man I'd write a, a love song about. And that's why I'm a little torn now with the Patrick <laughs> Mahomes thing. I feel... But I have a lot of exes, and you know, and I can That's okay. <laughs> write songs about them. Okay, and then uh, you're going to wind up in the Michigan Theater. Have you ever played the Michigan Theater before in Ann Arbor? I, I think I have. I you kind of forget of nowadays. Places, I know. <laughs> yes. it's, it's but awesome. I have been in Ann Arbor. That's I do wonderful. Ann Arbor. MelissaEthridge.com for tickets. And then the Melissa Etheridge Cruise. Come on. From March 31st to April 7th in Everyone 2019. Everyone welcome. Everyone. Every type of music lover. I've got great uh, artists. Paula Cole, Sean Colvin. Joan Osborne, we're sailing. It's good music, good okay. fun. Come on. The MelissaEthridgeCruise.com for tickets and more information. Thanks for coming on here. My pleasure. I hope to see you again Will soon you where we talk about playoffs or something. You know? Well, I mean, you know, there's January. I know there is. I know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very excited for it. By the way, do you know tonight is, I think, the last time Andy Reid was at the L.A. Coliseum. And the punt, pass, kick. Did you Have you ever seen the video of Andy Reid and the punt, pass, and kick as a 13-year-old kid? Yes. He's so massive. He's huge. <laughs> he looks like a grown-up. No, he does. It's like I all these little kids and him. I know. Yes. Nobody knew at the time. It was like a, 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 a wireless phone yeah. you know, uh, reception bar is what it looked like. But he was a 13-year-old a kid in the L.A. Coliseum of the halftime of Redskins Rams of Monday Night Football, December 13th, 1971. I looked it up for yesterday's show. And... We think that's the last time he was at the L.A. Coliseum wow. until tonight. That's exciting. I love I me some Andy Reid. I just love what he's done to the Chiefs. Love it. Okay. As much as you love ketchup? Mm. No. Okay. No, I know. More. <laughs> are, you a, are, are you a vegan, like a straight-up vegan? No, okay. no, I'm a pescatarian. A pescatarian. Yeah. Do you think Andy is? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so at all. Maybe you should, uh, you know. Talk to him Talk about, to it. about yeah, it. Yeah, I think he'd really love that right in the middle of the season. <laughs> right about now. Like, yeah, yeah Andy, right. Andy. I know it's the game of the I year. Know. <laughs> Let's talk about your food. <laughs> At Nutrition. M I love it. At M. Etheridge on Twitter again. MelissaEtheridge.com for tickets and information on the annual holiday tour that's starting up this Friday. Wow. And then the Melissa Etheridge Cruise, the MelissaEtheridgeCruise.com. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.